We're at uh, SolidWorks World 2012 in uh, San Diego. And I'm working on this helicopter rendering. Uh, this is my real-time preview window. You'll notice as I rotate the model, the preview updates almost instantly. I can go to a full screen integrated preview. This is a 22 inch monitor, I think. So it's pushing a lot of pixels, but it updates fairly fast when you make a change. So let's go back to uh, the preview window. And we'll process a final render. Oh, talking on the uh, on the mic. Okay. It, it is working over here though, yeah. So we'll process the final render. And we're working on 12 threads at a 1280-720 resolution. How large is the data size? I don't know. Megabyte-wise, I'm not sure. How does this compare to other? This would be a larger than normal model for me. Uh, so you can see that we have 12 boxes running around here. That's 12, these 12 cores processing the image. And it's gonna process out. So far we've done 46 seconds. Still going. So this is moving pretty quickly on a, if you had a standard uh, quad core machine. This is about three times faster than your standard quad core. It'd be six times faster than a than a dual core setup. So entire image completes in one minute twenty three seconds. So on your standard quad core machine. It's going to take you about six minutes to render this. If you just had a, like a dual core, you know, basic uh, CPU, you're looking at 20 minutes, you're looking at a half hour. So uh, it's a lot faster. This machine is overclocked. Yeah, so uh, PhotoView in SolidWorks itself, actually, it runs off CPU power. So the more power your CPU has, the faster the software is going to run. So if you're buying your standard Xeon at, you know, 3.2, um, it's going to run fast, but if you're, you're going to overclock that to 4.5, then you're getting that much more power out of that same, that same processor, which means you're getting more performance from the software at the same time. SolidWorks itself is single-threaded. Uh, there are portions of it, like some portions of drawings, they'll use multiple cores, but if you're going to do simulation, if you're going to do rendering, uh, all of that will use multi-threads. It'll actually use as many cores as you have available. So, um, for a lot of the add-in products, that's where the multi-core benefit really comes in. Uh, but, for, but the overclocked uh, processor, the single processor overclocked, is where you're going to see your benefit on the SolidWorks side. Before I had a box, I had a couple Dell workstations. I had an XI workstation. Well, you'd have to compare apples to apples or oranges to oranges. But if, if you had a, if I had a, a quad-core Dell, um, this particular image right here, I bet it would take me at least 30 minutes to spit it out at the same quality as what I'm getting here. But it all comes down to cores, really. It's, it's you know, how many cores do I have to process and how, uh, what's the CPU speed, the, the, the gigahertz. Um, so the, the machines I had before, you know, they were Xeon processors, but they were just a dual core or they were just a quad core. They weren't packing in multiple boards into the same machine like they do now. Um, but, I mean, I, I have a box that I use every day, all day, for rendering and animation, and, I mean, it's fast. It's just, it's, 
in order for me to get the volume of projects done that I need to get done, I need to have something with that kind of speed. I can't, I can't wait around for it to render or to, or to process. And uh, this, it, it delivers. It delivers the speed. There's no doubt about that. Time is money. Time is money. <laughs>